Welcome to a time capsule, a television station that's been broadcasting since 1949, and a studio where for the past 20 years of that time, we've been doing a show every day called Paula Sands Live. I'm Paula Sands, but this isn't my show. It's yours, and I'm excited to invite you to celebrate 20 years together on the air. Welcome. Thanks for joining us here on our new venture, the premiere of Paula Sands Live. It's Monday, August the 30th, the day of my dreams, or my nightmares, I guess. No, no. For the past nine months. I just remember the energy and the excitement, and I remember Paula pacing behind the set at the very beginning, trying to calm herself down, and, you know, I just, I looked at her and I said, okay, you ready to do this? And she said, yep. <laughs> I gotta tell you, there's nothing like a new challenge to put a steam in your stride, and I'm really revved up today. What you're about to see is day one of a project that we've been working on so intensely here at TV6, this summer especially. Many, many people are involved. Everyone in this building has been so supportive, and you have too. I want to thank you for all your notes of support and encouragement. And I'm so glad that you joined us today because what you're going to see isn't perfect yet. This is really a work in progress. I don't mean to make excuses for it already, but I think you're really going to enjoy it, and I invite you to join me. From the studios of the Quad City Paula Sands Live was hatched in the minds of the owner and the general manager at the time. They approached me with the concept of doing an hour-long local highlight show of the Quad Cities. Uh, a talk show, yes, but a variety show, always featuring local people live every day. They came to me with the idea and um, I said, let's give it a go. Now, right here in the front row, Paula, somebody I think you know, I'm pretty sure you know. Ma'am, your name is? Oh, I'm no. Clara oh, oh, no. I'm mom. talking to my mom. This is, this is yeah, Paula's this mom, Clara. Say hi to Clara, everybody. Hi, say hi. Clara. Hi. Oh, man. Clara, let me well, ask you. Well, you know, I know the first show, I believe I interviewed Paula's mom and her sister. I don't know, I don't know in what order, but I would guess her mom first, I think. And, and so that was an honor, too. I, I had met her sister before. Uh, but her mother, it was, it was fun to, to talk to her on live TV on her daughter's show. And so that was, that was an honor, definitely. Yeah, what's your first name? Brenda. I'm Paula's sister. And this is Brenda Paula's sister. Let's oh, hear from Brenda. Yeah, Brenda. Say hi. Hi, hi Brenda. <laughs> now, Brenda. I remember um, our big, huge guest was Mr. Food, OK? He was like an icon, you know, everybody loved Mr. Food. And so it was a coup for us to get him, especially for our first show. Why not a bite that big. What'd oh, come on. I've got, okay. Oh, on camera, she tried to seem so dainty. <laughs> you should have seen the piece of pie she had last night. All right, that's enough. Ooh, it's so good. Now, that's my line. Is that now, right? I was supposed to say that. That first show did make me nervous, but mainly I was so excited. I was so excited to finally put this, um, this little child that we'd been uh, nurturing and growing, to finally put it on the air. And we brought in Carl from the very first, uh, for the very first show, in the very first couple of years on the show, to, um, to bring in an element of humor and lightheartedness and uh, to go out and about in the community and uh, bring us stories. It was all fun. Every day was a party. And uh, we would go out and have a party, bring it here, the live audience and everything. But there was a lot of pressure though too. We all grew and learned together, especially at the beginning, because we did not know what this would be. Teresa and Brian are the, uh, the new generation of the show, in that we uh, all, always are looking for a fresh perspective. And that's what it means to have different people contribute to what we do. It's been fun, a little nerve-wracking, because I hadn't um, you know, shot or uh, edited anything in 20 years. <laughs> but um, 
it, it was a great opportunity to do something new and uh, to get a chance to get out and meet people and see some of the great things that were happening here in the Quad Cities. I first appeared on Paula Sands Live as an intern. And I thought I was just gonna be the guy carrying all the equipment. And lo and behold, the wonder of Paula Sands, she puts me in the story. It's neat having two feature reporters on this show, Brian Witt and Teresa Bryant. Um, they each bring their own unique perspective. And that's what people keep watching. What's Brian gonna do? What's Teresa gonna do? What's Paula gonna do? All three of us do things completely different. And it just adds to that element of variety on the show. Coming up. Live TV is like a train. You can't get off. You can't just stop the train. It keeps going. The fun and frenzy of live television. The camera never blinks as we continue our 20th anniversary special, Paula Sands Live. What is Paula Sands Live? It's a lot of fun. A half hour of the unknown. It was, uh, it was like a, a local Oprah Winfrey show. It's very informational. It is a very community-based show. It's a show with lots of personality. The mission of PSL has always been to highlight local people and what they do. And that is the one constant that we have kept up for 20 years now. That mission, I believe, is accomplished every day. Is it always perfect or excellent? Well, it's as excellent as we can make it to be every day. But it is a live, living thing that is unpredictable. That's also part of the joy of it. Oh, you better make it. But, but the fun part of live is that you do have that energy where you gotta keep going. Live TV is like a train. You can't get off. You can't just stop the train. It keeps going, and you have to keep going with it. You don't get a do-over. So what you say in those three to four minutes, it's it. Live means it's all being done as we speak by the seat of our pants. Live TV is its own animal. It is an animal. Unpredictable, it's a wild animal in that it's not been tamed, it's not been trained, it is just out there. You unleash it, you open the cage, and it flies out. The main part of my job is to get the pictures. And because we never know for sure what Paul is gonna do, I have to sit here and try and guess before she knows what she's gonna do, what she's gonna do. And if I do that properly, then we'll have the camera shot we need. And if she goes somewhere where she surprises me, we blow it completely and you never see what she wanted to see happen. No down days in TV. No down days when you're on television. I don't care if you're going through chemotherapy or you have the worst migraine you ever experienced. When you sit down right there and the red light comes on and you're on live TV, guess what? You're not tired anymore, you don't have a headache anymore. Afterwards, you may drop and need to call 911. But prior to that, there's no business like show. Okay, you can cut right there. This is, this is a pretty good one. She nice and broad. Yes, this this is my best <laughs> my best yearling. That's all right. <laughs> She's just talking, saying hi to you. Yeah, that's all. Right. Hello, Quad Cities. Can you say that? <laughs> There's no crying in in live TV. The show must go on. Hey, at the end of the show, if everybody lived, it was a good show. And thank goodness, in 20 years, we haven't lost a host, a guest, or anybody in production. So all of our shows have been really, really good. Producing this show is a lot of fun, but it's a lot of hard work. We go through 20 to 25 guests per week, four to five guests per show. And um, that's a lot. That's a challenge to keep up live local guests every day, because we're not a newscast and we don't run national features. We don't, it's everything we do is generated in the, from this building, from this studio. So either we're, when I say from this building, you know, we do stories out and about as well, but they're, they're all local, everything's local. And that is, that's a tough gig. We don't take hiatus in the summer. We don't take holiday break. We're here every day. 
and that is um, for 20 years. That's a, that's a hard challenge. I have featured more than 19,000 people on this set, in this space, which has changed over the years, but it hasn't always looked like this. There's been different furniture and different paint on the wall and different knickknacks on the shelf, but the people who have sat in these spots are, um, are ever-changing, and that's what the show means. Coming up, it's hard. I don't know how she does it. I really don't know how Paula does it. What it's like to fill in as host of the show. We're reviewing 20 years of memories on Paula Sands Live. Working with Paula, it is the most fun I have ever had in my life to this point. She loves her job, she has a passion for it, um, but she knows how to be just as crazy and she doesn't take it too serious. We loved, we loved to work together. We, um, we were serious when we needed to be serious, but you know, the main thing was is that we had a good time. The power of the blonde, you never know what she's gonna do no matter who the guest is or what they're talking about, you never know where Paula's gonna end up. She's just totally spontaneous, can take anything, any direction, and you never expect it. What's the point of doing a job like this in your hometown, live every day on the air, if you can't share who you are personally? So that's what I did, and I think it's worked okay, out. Now look, even I can get hurt doing this. I don't know if you're going to have a chance to drive these yourselves. I do have people say, oh, you look like you have so much fun on your job. And, and I do. The most fun part of my day is the half hour that I'm doing this. I, I like my time on the set with her uh, because it's almost like I'm bringing her a present when I bring her that story. It's almost like you wanted to impress your teacher. You know, I was like, uh, I come back, put a story together. Great videographers back then, too, were super good editors, too. And they put it together and show it to Paul, and you're kind of like, I hope she likes it, I hope she likes it. Yes, yeah, she likes it! Every time I come back with a story, and I put it together, and I've spent hours shooting it, editing it, my number one fear is when Paula sees it before it goes on the show. Because I can tell if she's not 100% there yet, I have to start over. Now, filling in for Paula, here's Carl Spring. We always have the best, the best, most vivacious live audience in town. I know, that, that might be a little weird to fill in on a show with somebody else's name on it. But what an opportunity to make it your own that day. It's, it, it's weird in that you feel a pressure that, okay, Paul's, she's got the bar really high, and I want to keep it up there too. But I take it there in a little different way. It's hard. I don't know how she does it. I really don't know how Paula does it. Um, it it's one of those things where you have to concentrate on all of the different elements that are going on during the show. It's always a lot of fun. Uh, that's one of the things I really enjoyed uh, when I had my time on Paula Sands Live is that it's something different. It's not just sitting in front of a camera and reading things. You do get to show your personality. Kind of up in the air. Yeah, that's, that seemed to <gasps> <laughs> The challenge of being a host is to make everybody else look good. And that takes a lot of energy takes a lot of focus to bring out the best in people in a live TV situation because people are not themselves often on live TV. The main skill that I really learned from Paula was to listen. She's a fantastic listener um, and she is able to really 
pull out the root of whatever the conversation is. You know, if, if somebody's trying to try off a different way, she's very good at redirecting them back. She has that element that some of the really great interviewers have, people like, like Johnny Carson or Phil Donahue, in that they really listen to people. Did you have a favorite thing? Yeah. What was your very favorite? The stuff the monkeys ate. That's the mangoes. Monkey food. Mm -hmm. Coming up. It's not just something they watch. It's something maybe they've been on. Maybe they were in the studio audience. It's a show that's for and about you. And that legacy continues as we celebrate year 20 on Paula Sands Live. I think the impact of the show has been um, people know they can count on it for being um, just a, a stage for who we are in the Quad Cities. So to have a show that is hyper local is huge uh, because that's what people want to know about. It's a reason why I love this job so much because there's there's always something new uh, to feature and and I come in most mornings and think, okay, what else is out there in the community that we haven't touched on? You know, it's local. You get to see what's happening local. And I think people appreciate that there is a show like that because there aren't many shows anymore across the country that are in that format that are strictly local. The leader of the show that she is, is what has made the show what it is. Um, without her passion, and her commitment to, to making the Quad Cities the best of what it is, the show might not have succeeded. The water closet. Yes. Oh. That kind of scared me. That's loud, Mike. <laughs> This is the best thing I could ever do, so I haven't moved on. If Paula would stay for another 20 years, I'd stay for another 20 years. I enjoy doing the show that much. My favorite role and my favorite time of PSL is those four minutes that I'm sitting on that couch with her. It has been and continues to be one of the most fun pieces of my life. It really is. And I thank KWQC and Paula for this opportunity. It was a great experience. I always look back on it very fondly uh, as a high point in my career. I'm forever grateful for her trusting me, giving the, me the keys to her show for the uh, what, five years that I participated as a producer in that role. It's neat to be part of this show. When it started, I was four years old. And when I was growing up, I never thought that I would be a television producer. I used to grow up watching Paula Sands Live. I enjoyed the show as a kid, and I guess part of me thought it'd be neat to be part of TV someday, but that was it. And turns out now, years later, here I am, the producer of it. My baby, my baby doll. This has been day one of our new Paula Sands Live. We're so glad you joined us today. I hope you'll be back tomorrow and every day right here on the TV The legacy that we've created here in this studio for this show is, is something to be very proud of. And I do feel uh, a pride, not for what, not at all for what I've accomplished here, but for what we've built just as a, you know, I, I was part of it from the beginning and, and still am here. And, um, and it's just a, um, a feeling of, it is a feeling of joy to know that so many people care about it, appreciate it, because they've been part of it. It's not just something they watch. It's something maybe they've been on. Maybe they were in the studio audience. Maybe they were actually on the show. Maybe they were, they, they knew somebody who was on. So it's their show, it's their show. And that's, that's a very special thing and unusual.
Oh, that looks easy. It's easy. Do I need to get there where you are? Yeah, you need to get down in the slider. All right. This is Roberta. Okay, hi, Roberta. Okay. Just grab a hold there and squeeze and pull. Same time. Okay. Squeeze and pull. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. 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 We're having a party with Roberta. <laughs> If you've been watching for 20 years, bless your soul. Thank you for being along on this ride that is not only, really not only my personal ride, but um, something that I've wanted to present to you to share uh, who and what we are in this area. And um, I hope that you've learned things and laughed a little. Maybe you shed a couple of tears along the way. Not too many of those, but I just appreciate you. I just want you all to know that.